The U.S. Navy has awarded Raytheon Technologies a $619 million contract for the production of ANSPY 6V radars. Importantly, this will see the first Flight 2A Arleigh Burke class destroyers to be modernized with the upgraded radar, apart from Flight 3 variants. The exercise of this option signifies the second instance from the hardware, production, and sustainment contract of March 2022, which has a maximum value of $3 billion, spread over a period of five years. As per some reports, it is expected that by 2029, the program's total value will reach $5.9 billion. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Arleigh Burke class destroyers will see much more with ANSPY 6V radar. Let's get started. The ANSPY 6 is an active, electronically scanned array 3D radar developed for the United States Navy USN. It is designed to provide integrated air and missile defense for Flight 3 Arleigh Burke class destroyers. Variants are also developed for retrofitting Flight 2A Arleigh Burkes and for installation aboard Constellation class frigates, Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carriers and San Antonio class amphibious transport docks. The SPY-6 radars, integrated to the Aegis combat system, can help defend against ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, hostile aircraft and surface ships simultaneously, and provide several advantages over legacy radars, including greater detection range, increased sensitivity, and more accurate discrimination. It will enable Arleigh Burke warships to shoot down incoming threats by using missiles like SM-6 more reliably. SPY-6 has scalable and modular radar arrays that reduce cost and sustainment needs while meeting the mission requirements of seven classes of ships. The U.S. Navy has secured contracts from Raytheon for the SPY-6 radar half a decade ago, receiving contracts as far back as 2018. The SPY-6 system consists of two primary radars and a radar suite controller RSC, to coordinate the sensors. An S-band radar is to provide volume search, tracking, ballistic missile defense discrimination and missile communications, while the X-band radar is to provide horizon search, precision tracking, missile communication and terminal illumination of targets. The S-band and X-band sensors will also share functionality, including radar navigation, periscope detection, and missile guidance and communication. SPY-6 is intended as a scalable system, with each sensor array assembled from Radar Modular Assemblies RMA, self-contained radar modules. The Transmit-Receive modules use new gallium nitride GAN, semiconductor technology allowing for a higher power density than the previous gallium arsenide radar modules. The new radar will require twice the electrical power as the previous generation, while generating over 35 times as much radar power. The SPY-6 was not originally designed to perform electronic attacks, but it may have the capability to do so using its AESA antenna. The contract will see two variants being integrated into Arleigh Burke class destroyers. One, ANSPY 6V-1, also known as the Air and Missile Defense Radar, or AMDR. This is a four-sided, phased array radar, each with 37 RMAs. It's estimated to have a 15 decibel sensitivity improvement compared to the previous generation ANSPY 1 radar, or capable of detecting targets half the size at twice the distance. It's meant for Flight 3 Arleigh Burke destroyers. Two, ANSPY 6V4, a four-sided phased array radar with 24 RMAs. It's designed to be retrofitted to Flight 2A Arleigh Burke destroyers. Arleigh Burke class destroyers are multi-mission surface combatants designed to operate in high-threat environments. The modernization will enhance their air and missile defense capabilities while enabling them to support a wide range of other missions. One of the ways an opponent could potentially defeat Arleigh Burke is by attacking it with a large barrage of missiles to overwhelm it. This is where the ANSPY-6V comes in. 
and Spy 6V is approximately 30 times more sensitive and can simultaneously handle over 30 times the targets of an existing and Spy 1D V, allowing it to counter large and complex saturation attacks. President of Naval Power at Raytheon Missiles and Defense, Kim Ernzen, said, Integration into the U.S. fleet is well underway with Spy 6 operating on the U.S. Navy's first new Flight 3 destroyer. This contract enables the radar to be added to more ships, including the first of existing Flight 2A destroyers that will be modernized. It's clear that this radar integration is a significant upgrade for Arleigh Burke class destroyers. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.